Okay, so then uh, what I'd like to do is uh, give each of you uh, a minute each, uh, perhaps, uh, to uh, do a wrap-up, and, and then we'll uh, close the event. So uh, uh, who would like to go first? Uh, can we uh, start with uh, Phil? Sure. Um, I think, I, I personally think the key takeaway here is, um, you know, there are a lot of potential issues and pitfalls that can come up in the negotiating the negotiation of transactions, um, especially in, in the environmental area, which is you know, so heavily regulated. Um, both of these kinds of insurance are a, um, a great way to, to address those potential concerns for, for unknown liabilities. Um, and I think that it would be an excellent idea if you're in the middle of a transaction and, and running against some of these kinds of issues, call a, you know call a thoughtful and commercially minded lawyer such as such as Alan. Call your insurance broker. Call um, call me or Ken, and we can sort of walk you through how um, these products can work for your specific deal. Okay, I'll I'll jump in and. And first off, I I, reiter I would reiterate everything that um, Phil just said. I think the major takeaway in particular on the environmental insurance is that it is there to pick up unknowns that might come up at, as a result of a transaction later on and to also kind of act as a um, a a a buy down for or uh, a difference a difference in coverage to the reps and warranties coverage so i think that's a, that's kind of the overarching thing you definitely will facilitate a deal more information is better whether it's on the underwriting side or on the claim side so more information is always better than less um, but understanding how far each of these insurance policies can go to solve some deal issues has to be also understood too. So managing expectations I think is important and we tried to touch on what happens in different types of transactions and what you can expect. And and I so and once again I think that going to as early as possible an experienced insurance broker, attorney, and contacting the underwriters is really the best way to ensure success in this area. Okay. And I, I guess I'll wrap up. This is Alan. Um, Ken and Phil really said it all. You know, this is a challenging area. It's a area with real risk and real liability for a lot of folks. And as a consequence, the market's developed some really powerful tools um, to, to help people bridge those gaps and get their deals done and get the environmental issues out of the way. Um, so, you know, look carefully, prepare carefully, and then um, take advantage of them.